All right, thanks for joining everyone. Uh, we will start off with these nightstick chips that we will be opening. Um, just continuing from the previous videos, uh, this is the tactical submissions event, but these crystals are from the uh, Super Black Friday uh, bundles. So I'll just get started right away. I hit the, the time stamp and... So what I ended up doing was I lowered the, um, the DPI. Maybe that's causing a little bit of a problem. Maybe I should lower the frames for a second to 30. We'll try that out. Could have been choppier now. All right, but um, hopefully I can do a decent job commentating. Um, and we'll start the next one. Oh boy, what happened? It had gotten worse. And this video is going to be a little bit longer because I accidentally hit the one. So these videos are about 30 minutes each. Um, this one might be a little bit longer because I had some troubles and you can see right there it's a little choppy and plus the other part is I'm going to have to do nine of those individually. That being said, um, Nightstick. I am not too familiar with uh, Nightstick. Uh, let's see if I can uh, find out some information about him. But, you know, uh, any combiner, any, sorry, any combat bot is a good combat bot, right? He improves the uh, health or damage of whoever he's equipped to. Uh, what do we got here? Do I get the four star version of him? Nice. Take a quick screenshot of that. I know his counterpart is Fracas, but what uh, what do they do? They do the acid damage? Yeah, alright, yep, yep. I think I went over him a few streams ago, because uh, I was talking about Fracas. Happy, I got the four star. So what this also means is that moving forward, I should be getting more four-star dupes, right? Getting that much closer to another five-star combat bot. Um, I don't know if you saw one of the smaller uh, videos. Uh, I did get the five-star Air Razor. Um, I think as of right now, I'm trying to go for a Dazzle Strike because I can equip him to my Alita 1. And I have Alita 1 as uh, an outpost bot. Uh, she is pretty strong as is. I, it's only the 4 star version, so I don't uh, run with her on my uh, war or raid team. Uh, on top of that, her uh, special ability tends to be a little expensive.
There we go, yep, four star dupe. Happy to see it. Oh, another one, happy to see it. The more the merrier. You can even give me uh, four star dupes of Spoil Sport and Air Razor. I uh, wouldn't complain about that either. Um, 400, I guess. <laughs> Not too bad. Yeah. Looks like I hit it already and it wasn't even paying attention. So, um, I think this is going to be five star number three from buying these uh, bundles. Um, I think in an earlier video, for whatever reason, I got too excited and I said, uh, you know, like uh, eight bundles, eight five stars, it's it's not going to be that high for me. <laughs> if I'm lucky, you know, uh, maybe, you know, uh, out of those eight bundles, because they're all going to be dupes, maybe I'll get five or six. If I'm lucky, six. I think I'll definitely get five, though. I want to make sure I just get these um, ones out of the way. Now, I don't know if you guys sign up for the newsletter for this game. It, if you do, really like the game I definitely suggest signing up with a newsletter and you will see you know like um, updates and upcoming uh, Transformers related news coming to the game so uh, works out well uh, I remember they used to give a lot of um, links to some free goodies um, and the reason I even bring that up is because uh, I'm looking at the newsletter that talked about uh, Nightstick and Fracas, and um, in that one, one of the playtesters, uh, does it say the guy's name? Texas Hammer. He connected Nightstick with Silverbolt, the G1 Silverbolt, not the Beast Wars one. And he said it worked out really well. Um, I will consider putting him on there. Hopefully his DPS, yeah, it increases his DPS. So maybe there's a good chance I, I will. Uh, I might put him on the, uh, the four star version. Um, the five star version, I'm not too sure about. I think I have a five star. Uh, combat bot on my five star silver bolt. So I can't see a real reason to put him on there. I don't know who I have Top Heavy on. Dial looks pretty cool. Um, Dial and uh, Dazzle Strike are in the same batch. So I don't mind getting either one of them. Um, I know Rung is also in that batch because I have a 5 star Minerva. Uh, I don't mind getting him. But I'm not too big on Medics. Uh, I know a lot of people like, you know, uh, say a lot of good things and also swear by them, but uh, support units do not win matches. They do help, but they don't win matches. Uh, you need good, powerful, offensive fighters. Um, 
That being said, I have, uh, you know, like, uh, went down to, like, lower battle, like, easy battles. And I have used my medics to, you know, like, do certain reward points. Um, a part of the Cypher Pass. So, I mean, if there's nobody else on the map, they do have a, a you know, an attack. It's very weak. Uh, I'm not sure if effective would be the right word, but it does do some damage and they probably win <laughs> by, you know, uh, if they started shooting an HQ directly. Oh, that's who I have on my silver bolt. I have a five star flak on him. Now, I don't know why it's a little less performance. You know, why it's more choppy than normal. I did try, you know, try it without recording with OBS, and I noticed it did work better. But how OBS is directly affecting blue stacks, I don't know. Cause like for like half a second, you know, like I, I can see it works well, you know, and then all of a sudden it just drops. I think I need some advice for how to use trip up. Uh, I have an I have him on impactor, with the hope that you know it speeds up his attacks to get to that um, part where the beam is on full strength. And if it's on full strength and it blows up a building, I have upgraded my impactor to ability 11. So it blows up. That's one of the uh, ability, ability 11s that's really good to get. Come on, give me some four star dupes. I don't think RNG is with me today. I think it just happened earlier that one time when we got those two four star night stick. Oops, and I think that was the end of it. Oh, that was the best one. Stripes was one of the first five stars I got. Uh, I got excited until I found out he was like a healing one. And I was like, what a surprise. I got a medic first, you know? Um, again, I know a lot of people love medics. I, I'm not trying to say I hate medics, but I would rather take somebody who shoots. Beginning and at the end, I can see it like go to normal.
Oh, the shield guys. <laughs> Speaking of, like, you know, um, bots that attack, those shield guys, they don't attack anything. <laughs> so it's like, um, I'm not too crazy about them. Um, but, you know, depending on who you um, connect them to, uh, I guess they're good, you know? At least they pop open outposts. They, they do serve as a distraction. So, I mean, uh, they're good for something. I think I have um, my, my children on... Uh, what do I have them on? I think I have them on Hotspot. And I have them on Nose Cone. I remember I put him on... He goes on Warriors, I believe. I remember putting him on... Um, Goldfire. Oh man, was that a horrible idea. Because uh, what I use Goldfire... Like, a lot of people use certain bots as... Um, I hate to call them like suicide bots uh, or you know like I think the term is like sack bots but you know like we'll send them right in the middle of danger you know um, I send them uh, into open up outposts and uh, like those are certain bots that you need precise timing on and that little bit of time that um, they're doing the animation to activate children. I am, uh, I, I mean, I don't like it for those type of bots. I, I think the animation is, is great, but can't use like him on a bot that you are sending into, into doom. Cause the whole point is like, get him out of there or move, move out of there really quick. And I can't use that, uh, children because that point fifth of a second of animation ends up hurting. I'm wondering what the best, uh, you know, speaking of, you know, gold fire what the best um, core for him is. Um, some people talk about putting the prime core that, you know, like sends you back in time. I think it's a Nexus prime core. Uh, I have that one on um, Windblade. I use them both for the same exact reason. You know, it's, it's activating stuff. Um, the reason I like to use Windblade more is because she flies she won't get stopped by a mine. Um, unlike Goldfire, like because he's on the ground going in a straight line, he'll hit you know like he'll hit a a mine, and if it's like just the you know to freeze him for six and a half seconds, uh, that is like one of the worst things that can happen, especially for uh, bots that I need. Um, to do a specific duty, you know, like I need them to do a very specific job, which is uh, activate outposts. Um, whether it's a, you know, a Decepticon or a Combiner, I need those things popped. Because I have, uh, that's my play style. And following the pop is going to be my Combiner coming out. So all the opponent's special abilities will be wasted as the Combiner is uh, forming in the animation for it is coming through. I think I'm fairly sure I have the four star dazzle strike. Oh, that was lionizer, sorry. Um, Seeing them, like, um, in this animation, makes them look even similar, even more similar. Or not this animation, the, um, I guess it's the skin, <laughs> the ghost skin. I have a chance to get Sawtooth, 5 star, 
he's the last one in the, the newest batch. But I don't know how good or bad he is. I think, um, if I remember correctly, like, using him, he does that weird, like, splash animation. Just like Zori. So I don't know how good or bad, so I'm not going to chance getting or using him. I <laughs> so I have to say I'd rather chance it on another bot. Alright, let's see. I want to say it's less than 10 minutes left. We should have this all completed. Sound barrier. I have Sound Barrier on RC. Um, what ends up happening with RC is, you know, she'll, she's pretty much a walker, right? Um, she's not super fast, not super slow. She'll do a backflip thanks to her G1 core. Sweet, four star dupe. Very happy for that. the way this thing's going down to like five frames.
All right, this is just about done. Unfortunately, it's going to go a little bit longer than I expected, but eh, it is what it is. Fingers crossed this isn't that much longer. Yeah, this one stinks. 